My name is Wiener Bodevers and I'm the Academic Director of the Bachelor of Entrepreneurship and Business Innovation at Tilburg University. In the coming minutes, I would like to introduce the curriculum of this bachelor's program to you. The program is designed for you to be playful while learning. Entrepreneurship is about discovery, it's about selection and exploitation of market opportunities, and innovation is instrumental in creating new solutions for those opportunities, the needs in the market that you could identify. Doing innovation and entrepreneurship is not you know, a standard, straightforward process that always work the same way. One will have to be able to improvise, change, adapt. You know, as a metaphor, one needs to be playful. And throughout the curriculum, we have embedded opportunities for you to not only develop your knowledge on entrepreneurship and innovation and your skills, but also to work on your character so that at the end of the program, you are well equipped to make a difference as a future business innovator or entrepreneur. We do that by a range of the pedagogical models or methods, approaches. Um, obviously, in the program, we provide lectures in which we try to have you think about the subject matter of the courses that you're following. But in those courses, also smaller scale tutorials where you discuss cases, where you do simulations, are extremely important. So it's a form of learning where you will actively engage, where you step in the shoes of an innovator or an entrepreneur and try to think from that person's perspective. In addition, we introduce the topic of the courses, not only from the perspective of the literature or cases, but we also rely on guest speakers to come to the university and talk about their experiences. Next, from learning from them, it also allows you to start developing a relevant network. Throughout the curriculum, great emphasis is put on skills development. We don't only want to develop your skills as a trained academic so that you would be able to learn and show that you know how to do and do academic research. Foremost, we will focus on skills that are relevant to practicing innovators and entrepreneurs. You know, and one of those skills is to be able to improvise when necessary. For the assignments, you will usually work in a small team. The reason for that is that we also know that innovations and scale-ups tend to be created, started by small teams of co-founders. Through these assignments, you will learn that you can be much more productive working in a small team than trying to do all of that on your own. In the Entrepreneurship and Action courses in this program, you will be able to develop your own qualities as an innovator or as an entrepreneur. And in the final graduation project, this all comes together and you can show how much you have learned in the three years of this program. A substantial part of the learning will not take place in the traditional classroom setting. It will take place in what we call a lab, an environment where you interact, learn with each other, with faculty members, but also with people from outside. It's a high paced learning environment where we combine fun with action, action with reflection. And as a result, hopefully for you to look back on that experience, say, wow, it was a really great experience to boost my learning. The program has three years in the Netherlands, all academic degree programs offered by universities at bachelor level are three-year programs. The bachelor programs provided by the Universities of Applied Science are always four years in the Netherlands. We have a three-year program. And in the first year, we focus on awaken the student in you. In the second year, we start developing your competence as an innovator as an, and an entrepreneur. And in year three, we will seek to accelerate that personal development. And each year comprises of two semesters. 
And in a semester, you will be working on a set of courses for about 14 weeks. In the first semester, we really laid a foundation for the rest of the program. In the Entrepreneurship in Action course in that semester, you will learn how you can identify unmet needs that may be worthwhile matching with a novel solution. In semester two, you will learn how new products can be developed to address those unmet needs. In the second year, where we start developing your personal competence as a future innovator or entrepreneur, we do that by, again, providing a host of courses. Also functional courses like accounting and law that build your expertise in knowing how to deal either with legal issues or accounting issues in starting and growing new companies. You will also learn how you can organize and manage innovation. Because all startups tend to work with innovation. Some do it from the beginning, some start later with that. And innovation is not just something that you can do on your own. If you do this together with others, you need to organize this. And if the complexity increases, it also becomes important to manage it well. The Entrepreneurship in Action course in year two, the first one, focuses on developing a business model, a, a way of building a company on the basis of a new product that was developed to match an unmet need. In the second semester of the second year, the Entrepreneurship in Action course will focus on transforming a vision for a new product-based new economic activity in a plan for action. The acceleration of your personal development that is to take place in the third year starts in the fall semester with you being able to go on exchange to a foreign university for half a year. We know that going on exchange usually is a tremendous boost to the competence of students at Tilburg University. And we also expect that for the entrepreneurship students, this will be a very valuable asset of the curriculum. But for those students that prefer to stay in Tilburg, we provide minors and you can choose to do one of them and you, come, and you match the minor with two electives. In the fall semester, irrespective whether you will be based in Tilburg or abroad, you will also start working on your graduation project. In the final semester of the third year, you will work on your specialization and you will have three specializations to choose one. You can decide that you want to prepare for self-employed entrepreneurship through the new venture creation and growth course. You may want to prepare for playing an entrepreneurial role as an employee to an existing firm. We do that through the corporate entrepreneurship course. And there will be students who want to use entrepreneurship as a vehicle to make a positive impact on society. For example, by eradicating or alleviating social problems or having a positive impact on our natural environment. Once you complete the Entrepreneurship in Action 5 course, the graduation project at the end of your third year, you're ready to graduate. And that is an important moment for you to decide what to do next. We assume that most of the graduates of this program will prefer to continue their education by opting for a master program. In the Netherlands, those tend to take one year and then to join the labor market. For a small group, they may feel that they are already ready to start doing their own entrepreneurial projects, either independently or as a salaried worker, immediately upon graduating from the bachelor's program. Well, that choice will be yours. Of course, first, you need to decide whether this program is what you would like to go through, whether the type of personal development that we try to bring about in our students is what you fancy for yourself. 
a trigger for that um, is that throughout the program, we have a bias for action. We also expect our students to have a bias for action. Entrepreneurs are doers that also think. They're not thinkers that once in a while also do. And this bias for action can also be enacted outside the curriculum. There is many, many developmental opportunities that you can embrace on top of the bachelor's program. Oh, there is European events where you can go to and, and learn and expand your network, be inspired. For example, the next web in Amsterdam or Web Summit in Lisbon. Um, you could decide to organize events, to organize company visits for students of this program or students just on campus. You could be the student that manages to bring Elon Musk to campus. You can grow your network of entrepreneurs, innovators and investors by hanging out with them, engaging with them. You could decide to organize workshops and masterclasses for other students. We know that there is a big interest in innovation and entrepreneurship, for example, for example also from students who study at the law school. And you could be the one who brings interesting workshops and masterclasses also to those students. As a result, we think that the type of student that enrolls into this bachelor program is precisely the type of student that will help increase the entrepreneurial spirit and live the entrepreneurial spirit at Tilburg University. But of course, this list is not exhaustive. Um, when we bring people with a bias for action, of course, lots of beautiful things will happen. We do know that there are always students who end up starting a company during their studies. We know that there are students who during their studies start to have substantial site activities like a part-time job. And from this program, when you really want to work on your future competence as an innovator or entrepreneur, of course, if you are going to seek part-time employment next to your studies, we hope that first, well, the program comes first, you start this, we expect you, we want you, we want to help you finish. So if you were to start your own company, we will try and accommodate that with your program. Of course, depending on the seriousness and aggressiveness of you trying to do that startup company. All in all, we think we have a really interesting program it is well rooted in relevant insights on entrepreneurship education. We build on solid theoretical understanding of innovation and entrepreneurship. And we're eager to experiment with the ways of teaching that best suits the needs of our students. Now, this will be a joint effort. We co 